yes sir now this is the gal stores this is the standard these three are the standard mini pnl scopes these are the 15 16.5 and the 18.5 sheets outer diameters and these two are the mip xs the newly launched one this is the 8.5 french by 9.5 french and this is 11 by 12 french that is 11 is the inner diameter and 12 is the external diameter so that means a maximum of 4 mm that sol which is going to traverse the renal parenchyma the, there is a 7.5 french scope which is designed by the calcio which goes through this and there's a 12 point french uh, 12 french scope which goes to the regular mini puck so this is all about the equipment and now we'll start proceed with the puncture any questions on the equipment please <coughs> Yeah, yes dr yeah. prakasha we are watching this, you this is the 12th rib 12th rib oh. this is the iliac crest yes. and this is the midline yes, and yes. here is the posterior axillary line okay. and i'm going to go just below the 12th rib in the posterior axillary line can i have the fluoro please the fluoro is in 0 degree yeah the fluoro oh. cm is in 0 degree okay. are you seeing my needle there yes yes, yes. so i have placed my needle here okay. now on the surface i will oh. take a stab okay. here okay lower collateral kidney lower collateral puncture you have to be careful that the kidney generally tends to buckle okay because there's lot more fat at the lower pole of the kidney uh, yeah dr kukreja this is dr jagdish here yes sir good morning sir uh, good morning dr kukre you have any special uh, method for manipulating the guide wire for uh, this sort of stones like yeah i'll use a terumo glide wire a straight tip because that is only one which will go across and because i want to get a secure wire across that is the main crux here can i have the oblique view please and uh, do you ask your assistant to push some more saline also when, to not now when i want to confirm my puncture on so you are going little anterior now yeah slightly anterior okay i think on. i was be able to feel the stone now there yeah yeah good yes. good excellent now can you see the saline it's clear Yes. Are yes. you able to appreciate the saline flow? Very, very clear. It yeah. So yes. now this is main that it has to be a clear fluid. Now comes my second important part is to get the wire across. Yes. So I'm using a terumo wire, and I'll tell the sister to she'll keep flushing saline very slowly. Can I have the CM please? You routinely use this wire, or you sometimes? No, I always it? routinely use the wire. There. Okay. 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 Now you see it has gone into the kidney. Yes. Are you trying to manipulate it into the ureter? Yeah. And Dr. Shabir does the job by injecting saline. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So I think with this, I can say fifty percent of the job is done in a yes. PCNL. Yes. I hope you'll agree with this. I totally agree with you. P. I am going to do a mini PNL excess, which is we will use a eleven by twelve French. That is twelve French will be the external diameter. So before I do that, pass the sheet with the dilator, I am going to use a Teflon dilator just to make the track. on okay. cm please on with rotating moments okay are you able to hear sir yeah now i'm able to hear you sir do you pass directly or over the guide rod no i'm showing can you show the surface please surface. see every sheet of this mip xs or mini perk this is a sheet and this is a dilator Kukreja, hello. Yes, sir. Uh, see, in this case, the wire wire has gone into the ureter. You are safe. Yeah. But suppose the guide has, wire has not gone into the ureter; it is coiled into the calyx in the lower calyx. Then it is very very unstable track. Yes. It may slip out any moment. Yes. That's why I use a thermo wire because okay. that is my best bet to okay. get the wire into the main system. Doctor Kukreja, what size nephroscope you would use, sir? Now, sir, in this case, we'll use a seven French, seven point five French nephroscope. Okay. Working channel of that? What what would be the working channel of? It's two and three French. One. Uh, can you show the CM, please? Okay. Yes. It's two and three French, sir. Okay. One is for the working channel. Other is for the irrigation. Okay. Now, uh, can you show the surface once again? Just to put saline from below. Now you see the clear fluid coming out. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. This is Excellent. how it should be. Yeah. Now can I have my scope, please? Doctor Dukraja, we are watching both the procedures. So we are very much with you. I am going inside. Are you seeing this? Yes. These yes, stones yes, are yes. coming out. Yes. 
now that is the beauty of this as well as the regular mini pnl you don't require accessory instruments yes. if you use them carefully i don't use any forceps any baskets nothing we have the cook laser which i am going to use here this is a 30 watt laser which has the maximum settings possible settings of 3.5 joules and uh, 20 hertz correct yeah okay but you can't use both at the same time because the maximum multiplication factor has to be 30 uh, that's it now what in mini perk or mini pnl access what you require to use is a typical what you use as a dusting in rirs i don't want bigger fragments i want powdered fragments so that they come out through this small sheath chalo now can i have the laser Kukreja, we are with you. Yeah, yeah, with me, sir. Now you see all the bunch of that stone in the lower calyx. Yeah, beautiful. That is, that beautiful. is all cleared. Now I am yes. testing the bigger one. Yeah. It's a question of patient surgery. You feel such a small tract. I'll take too much of a time. But the thing is, you see, you are reducing the morbidity so much. It's absolutely clear vision. Exactly. And all the fragments are coming out. I have yes. not used any stone retrieval device up till now. Okay. You break the stone into very small pieces. Okay. It will just take 10-15 minutes. That's all. Now apart from Joules and frequency. Do you adjust the pulse duration? Yeah, we have kept the long pulse duration okay. in this because it is going to help me dust the stone into small, small particles. The photothermal effect will be more with high pulse duration. Yeah, correct. It will be more of a dusting. Yes. It's a three French channel for the irrigation and two French channel for the uh, instruments. That that's why you use only the laser with this. Doctor Kukreja. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, now is there any stone size criteria? Where you think that this is for mini PNL access? This is for, for access. I would suggest that do not go for more than one more than 1.5 centimeter stone. Okay. Then you use the standard mini PNL. With mini PNL, we do stones up till almost 2.5, 2.8 centimeters. Okay. With mini PNL, that is 16 French. Okay. With this access, I would recommend keep it till maximum 1.5. This is the maximum you should be doing with this. Okay. Because if you see the bleeding and the other factors affecting the blood loss during PCNL. Yeah. Track size is definitely one of the most important factor, well, okay. but also the operating time. So you yes. should not increase the time too much. Yes. So justified use of all the different size of sheets as per the case load is what is the call of the day. Correct. Correct. Uh, other thing is this is very very cost effective because I have been using the mini PNL for last almost five years, more than five six hundred cases, and okay. it is as good as a new scope. So. There is no cost barrier like RIRS where you are worried, and you have seen there is hardly any trauma to the renal parenchyma. And most of these cases would be tubeless. Yeah, yeah, of course it will be tubeless because I am dusting them into such small fragments. There is no question of any big residual fragment getting left behind. Yes. Dr. Kukreja, we are watching you. Sir, uh, there is complete stone clearance. I, are you getting the audio, sir, from my yes, side? Yes, yes, yeah. sir. Now audio. I'll just show you first the Siam picture. Can you show the Siam picture, please? Now, are you seeing the Siam, sir? Yes, yes sir. It's yes. absolutely completely complete clear. Clearance. There's no fragment at all. Now I'll show you the endo. Are you watching the endo? Yes. No, no, endo no, no, is no. not visible, Dr. Kukreja. Yeah, endo. yeah. Now it is now, visible. Are you seeing the ureteric catheter which has been yes. placed yes, from below? Yes, sir. Now I am going down. This is into the ureter. Yeah, yeah. I am coming up. This is going up, up. So fantastic, Dr. Kukreja. Into the upper, the muco, into the the upper calyx. Yeah. Now everything is clear. The whole pelvis. I am withdrawing okay. back. This is the infundibulum. Yes, I am coming back, and you, this is the lower calyx from where the stone was basically impacted, and everything is clear. Do you put stent, sir? 
DJ stand? In such a case, I personally would not like to put a stand. I will keep a ureteric catheter for 48 hours ah. because that will function as a stand. The reason why I don't want to put, a, I'll do a tubeless also. The reason I don't want to put a stand, it's completely clear. No fragment has been more than 2 mm. We have Sir. fragmented with laser. So there's no question of any colic. Sir. I don't, I want to avoid all the stent dysuria associated with the stent and a second procedure for stent removal. So I'm going to place a ureteric with the kind permission of Dr. Chandra Mohan and uh, because he's going to look after and I'm going to do a tubeless procedure because there's hardly been any blood loss or yes, renal sir. parenchymal trauma. Any questions, sir? We are, we are taking out the sheath now. Excellent, I'll excellent I'll show you, uh, And I'll, also one minute, I just want to show you this. The second beauty of this, uh, I'll just take out the sheath. Now, can you show the surface, please? Now, can you show the surface? Uh, Now you see this small track. Yes, sir. Are you able to see? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's really yes. wonderful. Look. Some this needle is, puncture. Just like this is all the hole which has been made. There is no closure, no stitch required for this. And can you can you show the bowl here? Can you see the stones? Yes, yes sir. Stone all these out. stones have come out from the sheath. I have not used any forceps, any basket to retrieve the fragments. They have all come out powdered. So yes, we have achieved clearance. With that is the beauty of this whole system. Excellent Thank you, sir. Excellent, sir. The round, loud applause from the audience. Thank you. Excellent, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.